Also notice that thinking in new ways leads to acting in new ways, leads to living in new ways. So to live in new ways, you got to act in new ways. To act in new ways, you got to think in new ways. So it begins with thinking in new ways. It begins with being more intelligent. It begins with thinking about thinking. How do we think better? How do we be more intelligent in our thinking? And there's a big difference also, you should notice, between original thinking, high quality thinking, and just shutting off your mind. Much of today's mainstream spirituality, Western Buddhism, and so forth, what they're actually teaching you is how to shut off your mind to access various kinds of mystical states and non-dual states. That's good. That has its uses, but that doesn't automatically teach you how to think in a high quality way. It doesn't actually teach you deep intelligence. It doesn't teach you how to, how to understand things properly and deeply. And in general, I notice that there's a sort of a denigration within Buddhism on the issue of understanding. This is a mistake. The mind is a very powerful and dangerous tool, and you can develop mastery of using the mind, but almost nobody in society teaches how to do this. Because, of course, to teach it, you'd have to first master your own mind, which most people haven't, because they're so wrapped up in self-deception, bias, and their inability to jailbreak their mind and to understand high levels of abstraction and relativity. And the reason they can't do that is because they're mired in groupthink of their tribe and their culture. And the reason they can't break out of it is because their survival hinges on it because of the way they position themselves unintelligently within the system. It is possible to develop mastery of how your mind works, understands, and thinks. This requires practice. If all you do is you just shut off your mind and sit in meditation, you might access some non-dual states, but you are not going to develop mastery in using your mind and deep intelligence in your thinking process. That requires a lot of practice, which, for example, Buddhism will not teach you. That's where I come in. That's what I, where actualized order comes in. That's, that's part of the difference between how I teach and what you get from other spiritual sources.